Good morning, my precious brothers and sisters. How are you guys doing? Oh, you know we've been looking forward to coming, to spending time with you on this morning as we continue talking about activating the favor of God. On this morning, we're going into the book of Esther, chapter 5, and we're talking about stepping out in faith activates God's favor. Stepping out in faith activates God's favor. But before we jump into the word of God, I want you to join your faith with me as we just worship God in spirit and in truth. You are awesome in this place. Come on, I know you know the words by now. Sing it with me this morning. Sing it. You are awesome in this place. Come on, sing it. You are awesome in this place. You are awesome in this place. Faithful God. Faithful God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are mighty in this place. You are mighty in this place. Come on, help me sing it to the Lord this morning. You are mighty in this place. You are mighty in this place. You are mighty in this place. Faithful God. Faithful God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're doing wonders in our midst. Sing it. You're doing wonders in our midst. Do you believe that this morning? Sing it to the Lord. You're doing wonders in our midst. You're doing wonders in our midst. You're doing wonders in our midst. Faithful God. Faithful God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sing it to the Lord. You're doing wonders in our midst. You're doing wonders in our midst. We love you, Jesus. You're doing wonders in our midst. Faithful God. Faithful God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, as we are about to go into the Word of God on this morning, take your people deeper in the Word of God. Make their faith stronger. God, impart your supernatural wisdom into their lives. Encourage those who feel as if you hadn't been speaking to them. Let them see your hand at work in the life of Esther and Mordecai and use it to bring strength, I pray, in the name of of Jesus Christ. Someone say a good amen right there. Now on this morning we left, on yesterday we left off where Esther went on a three day fast and it was actually a dry fast. When I say dry, they had no water and they ate no food for three days and three nights. You talk about people who are ready to see God move. Now, you know when a group of people turn food and water down for three days and three nights, they mean business. And this, this is what you call a corporate fast. There's power in a, in, a, in, a, in a fast when you fast by yourself. But there's also another strategy called a corporate fast where everyone joins their faith together and everyone has a set time and they all come in agreement and they all fast at the same time. And we have done it before as a church. When we passed in Little Rock, Arkansas, we all went on a fast and God moved. Every time you fast, God moves. I, I said, every time you fast, God moves. But you have to do it in faith and you have to be led by the Holy Ghost. Are you hearing me? You can't do it to be seen of men. That's not what we're talking about. So this brings us now to the book of Esther chapter 5. We're picking up where we left off yesterday because on yesterday we focus on they went on a fast. Now you got to understand, after you get done fasting, it's time for action. I don't believe in just sitting around talking about it. I believe in jumping up and getting the job done. Now listen to this. And this is why we call this stepping out in faith activates God, God's favor. Listen to this. 
Esther chapter five, verses one through eight. On the third day of the fast, Esther put on her royal robes and entered the inner court of the palace, just across from the king's hall. The king was sitting on his royal throne facing the entrance. Now Esther was taking a risk here. She's putting her life on the line to save her people because the king did not send for Esther to come in for, for over a month. And now after the fast is over, I want you to pay attention. They did, she did not risk her life haphazardly. They put this thing before God. They soaked it in prayer and drenched it in fasting. Are you listening to me? My God, my God. Now this woman got herself dressed. She knows this is a death sentence, but we serve a God who can give you a divine reversal. We serve a God who can turn the tables in your favor. I just dare somebody to be bold enough to open your mouth and say, I will live and not die to declare the works of God. It ain't my time yet. I said it ain't my time yet. It ain't my time yet. I ain't going nowhere until God said so. I dare you to open your mouth and say, God got the last word in my situation. Come on and give him a praise right there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Yes. My God, my God. Now watch this. So now the king is facing the entrance of the door and Esther is about to open this door and walk through and this is life or death. But listen to what the Bible says in verse two here, Esther chapter five. When he saw Queen Esther standing there in the inner court, he welcomed her and held out the golden scepter to her. So Esther approached and touch the end of the scepter. That means the favor of God's activated. The favor of God's activated. I said the favor is activated. It's activated. It's activated. She was accepted. She was approved. Are you listening to me? She was accepted. She was approved. My God, shout. Shout somebody. God allowed this woman. God allowed this woman to break the law of the land, but she didn't do it haphazardly. She fasted, she prayed, and though they did not get a prophecy, they did not hear anyone say, thus said the Lord. But God was silently at work, and when Esther opened the doors, it was God that moved the heart of the king to show Esther favor. The Bible says the heart of the king is in the hands of the Lord. As the rivers of water, he can turn it however he will. Shout favor. Shout favor. My God, I feel this on me this morning. Shout favor. Shout favor. I receive it. I receive the favor in this court case. I receive the favor in this financial crisis. I receive the favor in this job deal. I receive it. Shout favor. Yeah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Now watch this. So the Bible says she approached the king and touched the golden scepter. Listen to verse 3. Then the king asked her, <laughs> my God, what do you want, Queen Esther? What is your request? I will give it to you, even if it is half of the kingdom. Man, that's the kind of God I'm talking about. I'm willing to give you anything you ask for, even the half of the kingdom, my God. You talk about favor, and the Lord is saying to you this morning, what is it? What is it that you want God to do? God has said, what do you want me to do for you? Just ask and I'll do it. My God, he says in the book of Luke, he says, fear not, little flock. It is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Shout yes. Yeah. My God, my God. And then Jesus said in the book of Matthew, chapter 11, verse 12, from the days 
of John the Baptist, the kingdom of heaven have suffered violence and the violent take it by force. I dare you to say I'm getting ready to take it. I'm getting ready to take it. I'm going to take it by force. Shout and help me praise him. Hallelujah. Yes. I feel the Holy Ghost. I feel the Holy Ghost. I feel the Holy Ghost. I feel the Holy Ghost right here. Hallelujah. Yes. I feel the Holy Ghost. My God, my God. God is able. My God, my God. God is able to do just what he said he would do. He's going to fulfill. He's going to fulfill every promise to you. Don't give up on God because he won't give up on you because he's able. Oh, 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 we love you, Lord. Sing it. Come on. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 God is able, come on church, sing. God is able to do just what he said he would do. He's going to fulfill. He's going to fulfill every promise to you. Don't give up on God because he won't give up on you. Cause he's able, oh, 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 come on church, oh, 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 cause he's able, he's able, he's able, come on, he's able, see, he's able, he's able, he's able, we love you, Lord. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Lord. My God, we love you, Jesus. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We love you, Jesus. Listen. Listen here, saints. You got to see this. When Esther stood before the king, she deserved death. But instead of death, she received God's favor. And I'm talking to some people on this morning. You know your heart is not right with God. Because the Bible says the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is life eternal through Jesus Christ our Lord. Jesus said, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world but that the world through him might be saved. All the Jesus I surrender. But that the world through him might be saved. Listen here. You know you are not a born again Christian. You know you are not a child of God. You know you are not saved. If you were to die right now, you know it will be bad news. You will open your eyes in a place where you never dreamed you wanted to be. But on this morning through this broadcast, I'm talking about the favor of God. God loves you and he wants to pour his favor out on you through the shed blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. He is calling you to repent this morning. He's calling you to turn away from sin. He's calling you to put your faith in the finished work of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says, for with the heart man believes and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. You may be a backslider. You may be a sinner. But I want you to pray this prayer with me right now. Say, Lord Jesus, I repent of my sins. Wash me in your blood. Forgive me for all the stuff I've done wrong. 
Forgive me for rejecting you, for rejecting your word, for grieving the Holy Ghost. Lord, I repent of my sins. You said in your word, whoever comes to you, you will never cast him out. Lord, I come in faith. I come in repentance. I come in humility. And I say to you, Lord, I believe in my heart that you died on Calvary Cross for me. And on the third day, God raised you from the dead. Jesus, wash me in your blood. For your word says if, I can, if we confess our sins, you are faithful and just to forgive us and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Friend, if you prayed that prayer with me, you are now a child of God. Your sins have been forgiven. Today marks the, the day of a new chapter in your life. Your sins are washed away in the blood of the Lord Jesus. Are you listening to me? The Bible says if any man be in Christ, he is a new creation. All things are passed away. And behold, all things have become new. My God, I surrender all. I surrender all. Sing it. Oh, I surrender all. I surrender all. I surrender all, all to Thee, my blessed Savior, I surrender. Listen, if you prayed that prayer, me and my lovely wife, Pastor Amy, want to say to you, welcome into the kingdom of God. Welcome into God's kingdom where we will love you, we will pray for you, and we will believe God with you. I want you right under this video right now, and I want you to write these words, I've just surrendered my life to Jesus. That's the greatest statement we can read under any one of our videos. We know God heals people, but the greatest miracle is not the opening of the eyes of the blind and seeing cancer cured. The greatest miracle is when a sinner accepts Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior of his life. That is the greatest miracle. And you've just received that miracle if you prayed that prayer along with me. We love you and we believe in you. And we say congratulations. Welcome into the family of the living God. Great things are about to happen in your life. You will never be the same again. Are you listening to me? You will never be the same again. God is able. And for you, people of God who are being blessed through this broadcast, we ask you for your continued support. We love you guys. We appreciate you. We don't take what you do for granted at all. Are you listening to me? So we are asking you right now to sow a seed into this ministry. Visit us online right now. SeanPender.net forward slash give and just sow a seed and it's between you and God you just do the best that you can are you listening to me you can give through the ministry PayPal account it's paypal.me forward slash Sean Pinder Ministries paypal.me forward slash Sean Pinder Ministries if you prefer to mail in your donations make your checks and money orders out to Sean Pinder Ministries P.O. Box 11 7442 Carrollton, Texas 750-11-7442 And listen, if you're watching us through YouTube, click on that subscribe button at the bottom right of the video right now so that every time we upload these videos, you will receive that instant notification from YouTube. And every time we go live, which we do every Thursday night and Sunday night at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, you will also receive those notifications. If you're watching us through Facebook, we invite you to join our Facebook group. It's called I Believe in Miracles. I Believe in Miracles. That's our Facebook group, and we invite you to join that Facebook group. And remember, Pastor Sean and Pastor Amy love you guys. And on tomorrow, we are talking about God's favor stops your enemy and brings promotion. God's favor stops your enemy and brings promotion. 
Looking forward to seeing you on that broadcast. And remember, we love you guys. Take care now.